Hello Virgo, welcome back to my channel y'all. How are you? It's so good to have you back. I am so happy to have you here. We are here, yes, for your March 1st through the 15th love and general forecast. So I do want to go ahead and say thank you so much for all of you who have donated to the channel. Thank you for all of you who have been here um, supporting the channel. And my loves, Virgo, you have been the most, if not, no, you have been the most viewed. And seriously, I am so grateful for all of you for commenting, liking, sharing, subscribing. It means the world. So let's go ahead and do your reading for March 1st through the 15th. Yeah? Great. Um... I love you guys, I, and I hope this is going to be a very fruitful month for you, and if you guys are interested, um, please check out my Instagram for testimonials, reviews. If you guys are new to the channel, I am a psychic medium. I do read tarot intuitively. I start with the channeled message, and then I move on to the description of the cards. I am clairvoyant. I am clairaudient. I am a medium. And I do have all that information to book with me below. If you guys are feeling generous, then would like to cash up or PayPal me. If you are feeling guided to, then yes, do so. So, okay, Virgo. I am a psychic medium. I think I already said that. So let's jump in. What is this general energy for you? Let's get a channeled reading here. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, Virgo, I'm having a vision of a lot of, there's something really happening for you. There's something big happening for you. And it's like a burst of light. Okay, something here is really awakening in your creativity. So let's see what it is. Okay, we have, wow. Look at this. So in my vision, my loves, a lot of you guys have so much light. It's almost like something has burst open and there's a lot of light coming through. A lot of you guys are, it's like there's something really big illuminating itself. Okay, something massive. And the light is symbolic. It's almost like I'm getting like stars. You know when stars kind of like, there's a constellation and something like really burst open and there's a lot of light that comes out. This is exactly it. Rain is about purity. Give me one second, you guys. Rain is about purity. It's about cleansing. So some of you guys are really activating a lot of this. It's like you're letting something grow. No one knows what you're growing, but it's very, very, it's, it's a very subtle, subtle growth. Yeah. So when I think about the rain, I always think about the things that are very hidden as well. When it rains, new, new harvest grows. There's a lot of new energy that grows. It's very beautiful. In this card, there's new growth here. Yeah, there's something very, very wonderful growing inside of her womb. There's a lot of, wow. And also blocking of the heart. So, Virgo. There's an inspiration here that you're trying to hide from other people that is going to be very abundant. I'm getting like a new business endeavor or something new that is going to really give birth to new financial wealth or it's an investment, but it's very secretive. Okay. I am having a vision that something that was hidden from you in regards to career and finances, um, it is actually coming to light. Okay. Something that was very hidden. Wow. Bravery. Look at this. Oh my gosh, Virgo. Wow. You guys are not messing around. 
It's like you're taking, wow, you guys are taking a leap of faith, my loves. Oh my gosh. It's almost like you're not telling anyone what you're going to do and you're really activating a lot of bravery here. You're going to say, okay, I'm just going to go for it. This is about, for some of you, this is about travel. For others, this is about moving into a new area. I don't know why I'm getting freeing yourself from, from, let me see. A lot of you guys are freeing yourself from an identity or the past. This is also about a business. Some of you guys are going to be selling a business so you can start a new business that you've always wanted. This is so beautiful. Look at that comfort and hearth. Listen, a house is really symbolic here, okay? What I'm getting is housing is going to be really important okay so this is about building a home so when we think about baby right we think about a dog oh and we think about 111 you guys are actively actively planting new seeds in a new direction you guys are moving forward and this is about family this is about home but it's also about this is also about you know activating trust in that 11 it's an activation of manifestation energy okay this is all about business, but it's beautiful because you're saying, how can I take care of my family while I do what I need to do? Yeah. Let's get one more for this general. Look at this. Woo. Okay, Virgo, you are standing out. Some of you guys are going to be recognized. You're going to be recognized by something really important in your life, something that you've always wanted to be recognized in, okay? And your spirit guides are saying yes, right? Your spirit guides are saying, this is where you were supposed to go. Excuse me for the noise. Look at this. You are thriving, honey. You are taking an, an art class you're taking. This is not just about art, but this is also about, um, this is also about music. You're doing something brand new, but what you're doing is you're establishing new investments, okay? You're establishing new investments in areas that are very foreign to you. So this is also about international business. Some of you guys are saying, you know what? Maybe my old business wasn't working, so let me get something else going, okay? Let me get something else going. And this is really beautiful. You guys are changing something around the full moon. I am seeing this for you. Ooh. Okay, Virgo, I see you. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and see what else is happening for you with the tarot, shall we? Okay, Virgo, so I am getting a lot of... Um, I am getting a lot of a death and rebirth. Okay, we are doing a death and rebirth here. I'm also getting that a lot of you are in a position where you no longer want to do something and you're not going to be in a position that it's like you are maybe working through something for the sake of money or financial wealth. And with this Scorpio, this Pluto energy, you are going to let this go. So this kind of goes hand in hand with what I was saying before, right? Saying prior. There's a level of I'm done for the better because you guys are no longer going to be slaves to whatever it is that you're doing. The death card, look how beautiful that is. Okay. Okay. There's a death and rebirth here. Yeah. So Virgo, let's go ahead and see what else is happening for you. I don't know why, you know, this is something that is coming very clear to you. Some of you guys have been holding on to something that is not, it's not bringing fruition. Okay, it's not bringing you joy. It's not bringing you what it is that you wanted. 
So here we have the double in reverse, right? Oh my gosh, Virgo. Listen. Okay, my spirit guide just said there's a clothing line here. Oh my gosh. Some of you are letting go of a clothing line or something you have built from bottom to top. Okay? This is really, really, really stressful. It's something that's really, really exhausting. Because you have established so much of your joy into the situation that you're like, I cannot believe I am still here. I cannot believe that I am letting this go. It's like a, it's, it's a, what's the word, you guys? It's a double-edged sword. A part of you does not want to let go and a part of you does. So it's like either way it's going to hurt. Yeah? The blessing is this work ethic. Either it's a work ethic or it's an addiction to power. It's an addiction to money. There's been an addiction to something here and you are no longer a part of it. You're saying, you know what? I don't want to do it anymore. So let's continue, Virgo. So we have the page of cups in reverse. Okay. So something is falling through. Like I said, I feel like there's an ending to something in order to bring about change, in order to bring about something brand new for you. Okay. This is something that is incredibly revealing and it's going to be revealing very soon. So it's more about not letting it discourage you and letting things kind of give you, it's like, let, wow. Ooh. your color is crimson red so whatever it is right now you have this portal opening for you Virgo it is an open portal for a redesign of your life and it's also a portal for clearing a lot of your root chakra energy uh, clearing a lot of your you know past life stuff okay so let's see we have the emperor Reestablishing order, reestablishing business, reestablishing boundaries. So, yes, yes, you are going to be your own boss, honey. Bring it, bring it full, full force, full force. We are doing it. Okay, let's talk about love, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Let's do it. Let's talk about love. So Virgo in love, a lot of you guys are, okay, it's like you've been adding the tax to a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. I'm having a vision of you rolling a huge ball of yarn. So for me, this is about you have been rolling and rolling and rolling. You've been, you've been adding more. It's like, how many more times? Virgo, Virgo's saying how many more times here with a... Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. A lot of you guys are up to here. You have reached your limits. You are saying, what is it? What is it? What is it going to be? Okay, what's it going to be? Uh, 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 uh. What's it going to be? More than friends. Something like that. Yeah. Ooh, child. Okay, let's go. Okay, so we have the Six of Wands in reverse. Okay, in love. Some of you guys are not feeling good this Pisces season about, I would say the first two weeks, about a specific love offer that's coming in. Something about this, you guys really want this person or something about this beloved is making you feel a little bit less or something, it's like you did not achieve something that you wanted to achieve, okay? So as we move in to March, a lot of you guys are not feeling really successful at this, but it has nothing to do. It has nothing to do with where you are. It has everything to do with the fact that this person is trying. It's like the more you let them in, the more they make you feel less. Okay. So we have the strength card. Leo. We have a lot of Leo here. Sag, Aries. Some of you guys are dealing with the fire sign. 
Wow, yes, we have a fire sign here. Okay, there's someone here that you guys are feeling really in love with. I am having a vision, it's like a water sign, you've been rolling this big ball of yarn, and it's almost like you're collecting memories with this person. So this has been a long-standing back and forth relationship. It's very karmic, number one. Number two, there is a connection here that's coming in. Some of you guys are being very patient with this person because you want to be with this person. It's going to take time. Okay? It's going to take time. So let's go ahead and see what's happening in love for Virgo. We do have a Sag Leo Aries. So I'm telling you. It's almost like this person is saying, I want to hold back all my passion, but it's almost like I can't. Virgo, this person is really into you or you're into them and you're really trying. It's like maybe you're trying to kind of control your emotions or you're trying to control your passion or your desires for this person, okay? There's a desire to want to possess this person. Some of you guys are like, what is it going to be? Are we going to be something? I don't know why I'm getting a developing connection. There's a lot of walking on the beach or very sweet dates where you guys are walking together. Deep discussions around the 18th, okay? Some of you have a choice between a fire sign and a water sign. Maybe someone that you've always loved. Ooh, you guys got two options here. Yes, hunty, yes. You... <laughs> So let's see. We have the Ace of Cups in reverse. Okay, Virgo. Wow. Mm-hmm. Here we go. So it's almost like you have this beautiful offer coming in. Virgo, some of you guys are not ready for it. Some of you guys are like, it's beautiful, but I'm not ready. Others, you have an opportunity. Are you seeing it? We have a fire sign ready to run and dine you. Are you seeing it? Or vice versa. Someone here is, is blocking the way they really feel about the other person. Someone here is not being honest about their true emotions. Someone here is... There's a lot of pretending, like that song. What's that song, you guys, pretending? All right. Well, the offer may not be the way that you want it to be, but it will definitely be in such a way that it's going to make you think. What you have now, okay, what you have now, is it worth saving? What you have now, is it worth saving? So let's see. Okay, Virgo, the full in reverse. The offer is here. Do you want it? It's up to you. You tell me. Do you want it? The advice is not to make any sudden decisions, Virgo. Both of you guys are going to be, it's like you're trying to find your footing. Both of you guys are going to get to know each other. I am getting a love. It's being shaped into a beautiful, it's like, you know what I'm having a vision of? Um clay like when you mold clay and you know in school we're molding clay and it's like a bowl or it's uh it's like a like a cup or something like that this is what it's going to be okay so let's see what's your advice the full in reverse don't make any sudden decisions please you guys okay take your time we do have the nine of wands here take your time Love is self-mastery for many reasons. Love requires a surrender. Love requires a level of openness. So if you are closing people off like this, are you loving, right? Love cannot come in when it's like this. Right? Love cannot come in when it's like this. So I feel... You know, with this Neptunian energy, there's just a lot of movement, but it's going to be revealing in so many ways because it's going to show you where you yourself, where you yourself, you've blocked your heart, right? 
So we do have the Ten of Swords in reverse. Let love heal you. Let love heal you. Okay? All right, my loves. Thank you for being here. Bye.